Good day folks. In this video I'll be upgrading my Acer Iconia W4 to Windows 10, the latest version of Windows. So I will be following slightly different way to upgrade this because I did not see get Windows 10 app on this and neither did I get any notification that Windows 10 will be ready for your PC. So even though I have the all the updates installed on it, I did not get a notification of Windows 10 so we're gonna do it manually. So go ahead, uh, go to this website. I'll link in the, I'll put the link down in the description of the video. You can get it there. So go ahead, open this website and scroll down and click click on download tool now. Go ahead, get the 32-bit version because this tablet runs a 32-bit version of Windows. There's absolutely no point in getting 64-bit because this tablet comes with only two gigabytes of RAM. So once you've downloaded the tool close this and run the tool so now this page displays two options one says upgrade this PC now and second one says create an installation media for another PC now I suggest you select the second option so you can create an ISO file and save it for later use you can use the ISO file to up uh, so to format this PC later on or to format another PC which is at your home so that's why we're going to create an ISO file then click next select your language select English and make sure you select the correct edition of Windows so if your tablet or computer is running when just Windows 8.1 you need to select Windows 10 Home if your tablet or if computer is running Windows 8.1 Pro like on mine this is running into Windows 8.1 Pro you need to select Windows 10 Pro this is very important because if you don't select the correct edition it will ask for the product key so that's why we select Windows 8.1 Pro, sorry, in Windows 10 Pro. Select your architecture. I'm going to download both because it will also download 32-bit and 64-bit. 64-bit because I'm, I can use the same ISO file to upgrade Windows on my desktop. Click Next. Select ISO file. And save it somewhere. It says Windows.ISO. I'm going to save it in my Downloads folder. And click Save. Now this will take a lot of time depending on your internet connection. So wait for it to download and, and I'll be right back. So once the media creation tool finishes downloading the Windows file, it should place it in the folder where you have specified it. I specified in the documents folder, sorry, the downloads folder. And here it is, it's a 6 gigabyte file. So open this file and extract the contents of it somewhere on your tablet maybe on the C drive, maybe on the micro SD card, probably on a micro SD card because you won't have enough space on the C drive so I've pasted the files over here here's my Windows 10 folder if you guys can't see it now the thing is with these, install, with these Windows installation is that this tablet needs to be plugged in into the power to Windows to be installed so I can't use a USB drive to install Windows on this so we'll be doing it directly from the SD card. So double tap it. Here's the setup file. You're gonna run it. And yeah, it does take a while for the setup file to launch also, so just be patient. So you can see it's preparing right now. Now, as you guys can see, I can't use a mouse anymore because I have to plug the tablet in into the power to install Windows. It just won't install on battery power. So now you should probably select the first option which shows download and install the updates because it, it automatically downloads the available updates to the setup so that everything goes much more smoothly. But if you don't have a good internet connection you can select not at this time but I'm going to select download and install the updates so click next. And now it's again going to take some around half an hour and let it check for updates first and let me see if it downloads anything or not I'll 
click accept and I think now it's gonna download the updates which is going to take a lot of time because my internet connection isn't really that fast so yeah we'll let this updates download and I'll be back when it's around 99% so I'll be right back now after the setup finishes installing those updates you're gonna see this screen it it says choose what to keep so we're gonna select the first setting since we are upgrading it for the first time so select the first option which shows keep personal files and applications what this option does is if you install any applications like steam microsoft office and any other application like photoshop those will be retained on your computer so first option and then click next Now it's just checking for some compatibility issues, if there are any compatibility issues with the upgrade or not. So it says that continuing with the installation of Windows will change your display language. To change it back, you'll need to reinstall the language packs. I don't think I've installed any language packs, so yeah, I've clicked OK. And let me let it just make sure if your PC has enough space. So we're ready to install. Just check the so install Windows 10 Pro, keep personal files and applications. Then I'm gonna tap install and then you're gonna see this screen and yeah it does take a while for this to install so I'm gonna fast forward this section so let's go ahead Alright, so the upgrade is complete. 
and let me just do some settings here so customize settings no I don't want Windows to track my location So let me choose my default apps. No, I'm not gonna use these apps because I'll use the Windows Media Player or VLC Player and I'll use Chrome instead of Microsoft Edge. So let it finish. Right, so I think we have upgraded. Yeah, check this out. So let me enter my password. I can't show you my password because it's a common password for my email and Microsoft account but here we go Alright, so let's see what it shows me. So currently you can see it it is running in tablet mode. So let me just exit that. So let me just exit the tablet mode and it should be and how do I increase the brightness? That's the volume. But anyway. Uh, let me just show you how it looks. This is Windows 10. Let me just show you the properties. So yeah, Windows 10. Windows 10 Pro because you upgraded from that previous version and everything is working fine and let me check how much space is left so around 14 gigabytes of space is left on the C drive because we upgraded it from uh, I think it was around 18.5 gigabytes so there is some okay so old Windows files are also there so maybe you can go back to Windows 8.1 I don't know but Anyway, everything works. Let's see the start menu. So, here we go. Not bad. So, I think that's it for this video, guys. And I shall do a review of Windows 10 running on this uh, tablet in a separate video. But, yeah, that's it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching and do stay tuned for more. By the way, if you don't like Windows 10, you can always go back to Windows 8.1. So to go back to Windows 8.1, head over to All Settings and tap on Update and Security. Tap on Recovery and there's this option, Go Back to Windows 8.1. So unfortunately, this option is available for only one month after you've upgraded to Windows 10. But yeah, currently I can go back to the previous installation of Windows. So yeah guys, thank you for watching this video and do stay tuned for more.